In this guide me, you will follow the instructions to complete the following tasks. Create tasks for exporting a genie. For creating intermittent leave email notification. For creating a widget email alert. And for generating non-worked holiday pay records. Task Scheduler provides you the ability to easily schedule email notifications for tracking intermittent leave cases, for exporting genies in a variety of formats, such as an Excel spreadsheet, for scheduling and processing holiday pay, and for character-based users, the ability to view emails containing alerts generated by widgets. From the home page, click Setup. Click Utilities. Click Task Scheduler. A list of current tasks appears, with columns denoting submission information, as well as the type of task that is scheduled and the frequency of that scheduling. The scheduling function status is shown as active, and can be deactivated by clicking Start-Stop to toggle its status. Individual tasks can be enabled or disabled by highlighting the task, then clicking Action, and then selecting Enable or Disable. You want to create a new task, so click New. You wish to receive notifications about employees who are approaching overtime. Having already created a widget for that purpose, you now wish to be able to view that widget's information via email. Click Widget. In the Description field, type Approaching OT. Press Tab. Various frequency options exist. The default selection of None allows you to manually run the scheduler as the need arises. You wish to automate the scheduling process, so click the Daily Weekly Radio button. The start date defaults to the current date. You do not wish this task to have an end date, so make no entry in that field. This task should run every week so accept the default value of 1 appearing in the Recur Every X Weeks box. The task need not run on Sunday, but will be necessary Monday through Friday, starting at 7 a.m. Click Monday. After selecting the appropriate days and entering a start time for each, note your ability to enter 8 start times per day, the individual to whom this email notification is to be directed must be selected. Click the User Field Selection icon. Click SQAGT. Click the Widget Field Selection icon. Click Approaching OT. No optional filter is necessary, so click Save. The widget task appears in the list. Note that the description last submission and next submission columns are sortable in either ascending or descending order as evidenced by the upward pointing caret symbol now appearing in the description column. Click New. You wish to receive notification alerts of employees with exceptions on their time cards. Having already created a widget for that purpose, you now wish to view that widget's information via email. Click Widget. In the Description field, type Exceptions. Press Tab. You do not need to create this report automatically, but instead wish to create it on an as-needed basis. Accept the Frequency Selection default of None. Click the User field Selection icon. Click SQAGT. Click the Widget field Selection icon. Click Exceptions. No optional filter is necessary, so click Save. The widget appears in the list with a frequency of None. This means it will be run on a manual basis by hovering the mouse over Actions and selecting Run from the resulting drop-down menu. Click New. You wish to receive an Excel spreadsheet of the contents in your Genie named Time Clerks. Click Genie. 
In the description field, type Time Clerks. Press Tab. You do not need to create this file automatically, but instead wish to create it on an as-needed basis. Accept the frequency selection default of None. Click the User Field Selection icon. Click SQA GT. Click the Genie Select. Click Time Clerks. You want to filter the Genie to display only employees 1 through 10. A filter has already been created to do this. Click the Filter Selection icon. Click EMP 1 through 10. In the File Name field, type Time Clerks. Press Tab. Since you wish to export this Genie as an Excel spreadsheet, leave the Export Format default as is. You want to receive the spreadsheet via both email and via the View Jobs function from the main screen. Click Email and View Jobs. Viewing deleted employees is not necessary, so leave the Show Deleted Employees default as blank. The time period you wish to view is the current one. Click Time Period. Click Current Pay Period. Click Save. The Genie appears in the list as an available task. After clicking Time Clerks to highlight it, click Actions. Click Run. The Task Scheduler will generate an email containing the spreadsheet, as well as creating a spreadsheet available through the View Jobs function in the Quick Link bar. Click New. You wish to enable your HR department to receive notifications that track employee progress through intermittent leave cases. Click Leave. In the Description field, type Leave Scheduler. Press Tab. You can attach an optional filter to display a filtered subset of the employees for which you are allowed access, but you do not wish to do so. Leave Notification accommodates a number of scheduling frequency options. Click Monthly. The start date and end date are those dates on which the monthly run times start and end, and the time is that time of day that the task run will commence. The task can be run on a literal day of the month by specifying the day, 1 through 31, and the number of months to skip before the task is run again. The task will be run on the last of any month that has less days than the number specified in the day field. Click anywhere to continue. Alternatively, you may designate a relative day of the month as follows. In the On The field, select the week, 1 through 4, or L for last. In the Adjacent field, enter the day of the week, 1 through 7. In the Of Every field, enter number of months to skip. You can also elect to schedule the task on a yearly basis. Click Yearly. The start date and end date are those dates on which the yearly run times start and end, and the time is that time of day that the task run will commence. The task can be run on a literal month of the year by specifying the month, 1 through 12, and the day of the month, 1 through 31. The task will be run on the last of any month that has less days than the number specified in the day field. Click anywhere to continue. Alternatively, you may designate a relative day of the year as follows. In the On The field, select the week, 1 through 4, or L for last. In the Adjacent field, enter the day, 1 through 7. In the Of Every field, 
Enter the number of the month, 1 through 12. You can also elect to schedule the task on a daily weekly basis. Click Daily Weekly. Start date, end date, and recur fields are the same as you have already seen. After selecting the day of the week and entering one of eight possible start times per day on which to schedule this task, you wish to save the settings. Click Save. The Leave Scheduler task appears in the list. The last task you wish to create is for holidays. Click New. The task defaults to Holiday. In the Description field, type Holiday Scheduler. Press Tab. You have already created holiday non-worked blocks and their associated holiday dates for employee daily rules as required for processing holiday non-worked pay. Since you want to run this task manually, the frequency default of None is appropriate. Click Save. The task appears in the list. Manually run the Holiday Scheduler task by selecting Holiday Scheduler. Move the mouse over Actions and select Run. The task appears in the list as having been run today. Click Home. To verify that the holiday rule has been processed, you need to find an employee whose daily rule is named CL, since daily rule CL contains the holiday non-work block you created. Click Jack Adams. The holiday non-work block you created has generated HOL pay for Jack as expected. Click Home. To verify that the Genie export has been processed, click View Jobs. The Genie that was exported as an Excel spreadsheet appears. Click on the file to open it. Click anywhere to continue. The Genie spreadsheet appears, with columns that can now be manipulated or totaled as required. Click anywhere to continue. At the end of the day, you note that there are two new emails in your inbox. Click anywhere to continue. Opening the first email, you find the contents of the Exceptions widget, displaying those individuals with exceptions you defined in the widget. Click anywhere to continue. The second email contains an approaching leave expiration date notification. Click anywhere to continue. In this Guide Me, you follow the instructions to complete the following tasks. Create a task for exporting a genie. For creating intermittent leave email notifications for creating a widget email alert, and for generating non-worked holiday pay records.